Hello, Professor Dugan. This is my audience. And I will now begin speech number two. Cars. Cars. The make, the model, the color, the options, the tax, the title, the license, the insurance, the payments. Buying a car can be one of the most exciting and stressful decisions many of us make. I'm here today to help clarify a small portion of the car buying experience. When you choose to buy a vehicle, you have three options. Buying new, buying used, or leasing. Buying new has many advantages. The first, and perhaps most obvious one, is that the car's only had one owner, you, and you know what you've done to the vehicle. Second, you have the ability to personalize the car. You can choose the options and specifics that you would like, from sunroof to leather, stereo, all of the above. Many times these options are manufacturer installed and come with a warranty. Speaking of warranties, many cars on the market now are coming with factory warranties, such as a one-year warranty all the way up to a lifetime warranty. And in the current economic climate, financing is another plus. Many manufacturers are offering special financing options if you finance through one of their institutions. Lastly, the car is yours at the end of the financing term. It's your asset, you own it. While buying new has many advantages, it also has disadvantages. The first being depreciation. Depreciation means the loss of money. So depreciation, an example would be with a vehicle. If I buy a $75,000 vehicle, I know it's pricey, right? I drive it off the lot. I lose at a minimum 10%, which is $7,500. While warranties cover many repair costs and many maintenance costs on a vehicle, not all of them are covered. So you do need to take in consideration the cost of repair and maintenance on a new vehicle. Lastly, insurance on a new vehicle will be higher than on one that's used or leased. I'll draw your attention to the PowerPoint behind me. Edmunds Incorporated did a study comparing the costs of new, used, and leased vehicles and the cost of ownership, the cost over a period of time. So as we go through these options, I just want you to keep in the back of your mind uh, the costs. So one year cost of buying a $20,000 car, new, with a 60-month loan or five-year loan and 6% APR is $11,500. The five-year cost of buying the same car, same term and interest rate, with the estimated repair costs and maintenance costs included is going to be $32,500. So keeping that cost in the back of your mind, let's go on to discuss our next option, and that would be buying a used car. Buying a used car does have some advantages. First, it's a bargain. Many times we can find a two to three year old car with low mileage, gently used, at a fraction of the price of a new vehicle. Also, dealers are more willing to negotiate on used vehicles as they have a flexible list price. So depending on how much you're willing to haggle and how much the car was originally worth, you can generally walk away with a pretty good deal. Lastly, insurance rates on a used vehicle will be lower. Buying used does have some disadvantages though. The first being the previous owner. While we do have things like Carfax history reports, not everything shows up on one. The condition of the motor or engine and its supporting parts may not be known until after the car has already been sold to you. Secondly, you will see a higher interest rate when you finance a used car. This is because the bank is taking a greater risk of the used car than with a new car due to age, repair, and maintenance. Also, most warranties, such as the one-year or uh, lifetime warranty I mentioned earlier, are non-transferable, meaning that when you buy the vehicle, you no longer have right to any warranty through the manufacturer. 
Lastly, it can be harder to find the exact options that you're looking for in a vehicle. So let's say one vehicle has sunroof, one vehicle has leather. If you want both, you can be put into a tight spot. Again, I'll draw your attention to the overhead as we look at the Edmunds study on used cars. So the one-year cost of buying a used car, $10,000, 60-month, five-year loan with an 8% interest rate. So you can see the interest rate is higher there, again, because of the greater risk, um, is $6,500. The five-year cost of buying the same car, the same interest rate and term, is going to, uh, with the estimated repair costs included, is going to be $19,000. So we can't buy new, we can't buy used for whatever reason. What is our other option? Leasing. So leasing is where we borrow a vehicle from the dealership under a rental contract. Leasing does have its advantages. The first being that most, if not all, of your repairs are covered under this uh, dealership contract. Also, you have the option to buy the car at the end of the leasing term. And finally, the monthly payment for a lease is going to be much lower than the payment for financing that same new vehicle. Now, this does depend on the financing terms. Leasing has some disadvantages, though. The first being a down payment. So uh, when you go to lease a vehicle, generally the dealership is going to ask you for 10% of the list price or MSRP of the vehicle. So again, let's say I want to buy a, or lease a very expensive car, $75,000. Before I can even think about leasing the car, I need to have in my hand $7,500. So for some people, this can be a barrier. Also, leasing is going to give you a mileage limit. So, generally, um, common mileage limitation is 12,000 miles a year. So that's going to be only 1,000 miles a month. So depending on what you're using the car for, this could be a problem. Lastly, lease contracts can be very confusing. And at the end of the lease, you have to either pay out big for the car or come up with another down payment for another vehicle. So last time here, drawing your attention to the overhead for the Edmund study of leasing. So we're looking at the one-year cost of leasing a $20,000 vehicle over a three-year term, and that's going to be $6,700. The five-year cost of leasing the same $20,000 car for the three years and then renewing for another three-year term including both down payments, is going to be $32,200. So with those prices in our forefront, it is important to remember that everyone's circumstances are different. So take into account your finances, your limits of uh, mileage, your living situation, and really you need to decide on what's best for you. Analyze all of your options so that you become an educated buyer. That's really what's going to help take the stress out of getting a vehicle. So today I hope that I have uh, achieved my goal, that we have taken just a little bit of the stress out of getting into a different vehicle. Again, those options are going to be buying new, buying used, and leasing. We need to make sure that we're educated and that we understand that you do have many options picking the right one for you. Thank you.